We're starting a reading vlog and hi, welcome to the channel. Honestly, I have been in quite the reading slump. I feel like every single video I start saying that, but it's a fact. I'm like in a reading slump. I have been in a reading slump for why do I look so white? Hold on, is that better? Well, so I just got summer moon. If you're not from like the Austin area, you probably don't know this coffee shop, but it's so good. The only times when I allow myself to drink dairy in my coffee, but anyways. Also, look at my cute little purse. I've been reading for a week, honestly. I have been wanting to just read whatever I want and get out of the reading slump. I'll show you guys some of the books that we could possibly be reading. One of them I'm actually already like 50% in and I'm really liking it. So let me go get them. So these are the two that we're most likely going to be reading. I actually already kind of made a dent in Keeping 13. And it's so good. I forgot how much I like this series. I actually ordered Saving Six. But I had to order on this like UK website called Blackwells because it was it's pretty much like sold out everywhere else. So and then we also have Rootless Spouse. If you saw my reading vlog of Divine Rivals, you know I didn't really like the book as much as maybe I should have. But I was excited to read the second one because I do really like your writing style. So let's just get reading. We're gonna keep reading and keep me 13 because it's like what's keeping me alive right now. I just realized like this is the first reading vlog we're actually going to do in this room which makes me so happy yeah let's just get reading honestly i need a little bit of energy before i start talking about the book if you don't know this is book number two of this series is called the voice of tongan or something it's like an irish setting series i think it's young adult but this book is getting a little spicy if i'm totally honest with you and Sorry, this coffee is like crack right now. <laughs> this one follows the same book, Biting 13, which is the first book in the series. And it's like a sports romance. It's like a rugby romance, which I mean, oh, us Americans, like we don't know anything about rugby, but I think it's like a mixture between soccer and American football. So yeah, there you have it. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep reading. It's pretty good so far, honestly. I need to like pinpoint which page I'm in because I also had on my Kindle like a long time ago. I just took a coffee. And happy new year. I honestly woke up kind of sick. I feel like I always wake up kind of sick on the first day of the year. I wanted to give a reading update, 86%. I just ended up reading on my Kindle because I did remember I bought this book a long time ago because I didn't want to read the physical copy. I read the book was like super small. So I do really like it so far. I just feel like her books never really give me the five star feeling. Like I always feel a little doubtful of giving her books five stars. So far, I don't know, some of the dynamics and what's currently going on it's a little weird and it's not my type of romance but yeah we'll see what happens i'm pretty close to finishing it so i'll give you guys an update with <laughs> that's what i'm gonna end up reading and yeah i have a lot of editing to do so so i wanted to get that done so i'll just see you guys later i did finish keeping 13 i'm going to be talking about it later i don't want to get into my book reviews and thoughts just yet shop just now and I ended up reading Careball. Honestly, I still don't know how I feel about this one. It's kind of a little bit place for me. I don't think I'm gonna enjoy it as much as the Once Upon a Broken Heart trilogy, but you know, we're still gonna give it a chance. And the cutest thing happened at the coffee shop, there's like these people in like a little book club. They were obviously older than me, so I wasn't really I didn't really know what the book they were reading was about or anything, but it was so cute. They're like doing a little book club at the coffee shop. Honestly, eventually I want to do something like that. 
so maybe eventually i'll share kind of where i live a little bit and we can do a little book club like local book club but for now this is what we're doing this is the second read maybe i should just tell you guys how i felt about keeping 13 but i have to go ahead and film my reading wrap up for 2023 which i'm avoiding like so much i'm not in the mood for it but let's just let's just do it okay i have to do it but yeah got work to do so i'm just gonna get into it honestly this is like not hitting at all i only read like 10 pages and it's just not great the story i'm not a huge fan of the characters the signal was gonna be any different for me but we're just gonna move on I did finish keeping 13 this one was so freaking good but i have to say that i do like the one that i'm reading right now so more so much more so i'm reading saving six which is the one about joey and what i had on Blackwells and it hasn't gotten here yet. Obviously, it's coming all the way from the UK. Also, I got my cutie little coffee in my anthropology cup and yeah, these are the vibes right now. I'm like, I'm having a blast in my new library. So, I have to say I like Saving Six a lot better. I gave this one 4 out of 5 stars because you do kind of get introduced to a lot of the other characters that I feel like I'm even gonna like better than Shannon and Jonathan, Johnny. But this one, it was pretty good. I do have to say Shannon is like not my favorite character. She does annoy me a lot. It's so much different reading about Joey and Eve. I don't know how you say her name. It's way better and I'm really enjoying it. But it was a four out of five stars start for me. It was, it was good. It was fun. And like I said, you do get introduced to the series. It's going to give them the same vibes that the Dicka series gave for like when I first read about Lily and Lo, I wasn't like obsessed with them but then I ended up loving the rest of the characters so that's what's happening with this series and I'm still giving careful a chance I do have to say guys I'm not I'm not really feeling careful I'm on page 142 I have picked up this book and put it down several times and yeah, so right now I'm just gonna keep reading Saving Six because there hasn't been a book that I decided to just stay up and read in such a long time and I just have to pull you up to this because it was freaking good. So, Saving Six, I'm just gonna keep reading and I'll update you guys when something else happens. I do have to say Joey is like the perfect book boyfriend. He's not even a boyfriend yet, but like it's leading up to what's probably gonna be one of my favorite love stories in this series. So, I love them so much and Eve is like Yofi, Evie, Evie, I'm just gonna go ahead Evie, she is so funny and I'm like obsessed. <laughs> yeah, so it seems like I actually just got my camera settings fixed, the last video that went up, there was something with the lighting that was like very off and I think we gotta figure out, I'm currently obsessed with drink. No, this is all like pop. It's not drink poppy. This is orange squeeze. This might be one of my new favorite flavors. I've tried this sherry cola and some other ones. They're really good. But this one just kind of has a spot. It's like really natural. But anyway, I'm still reading. Currently reading Saving Sex. I kind of lied and I continue reading the Boys to Tommen series. I'm really obsessed with it. I do have to say this one is kind of giving the same vibes that if you like Magnolia Parks and BJ from... The Magnolia Parks Universe series, then I feel like you will really love this book. Like, even way more than the series that the book that goes before this one in the series. Saving Six so far has been my favorite book of this series, and I can't wait for the next one. I actually ordered both of them on the Blackwell's website, which is a UK website, where you can get books and the shipping cost is actually included in your purchase. This is not sponsored, it's just like such a good deal. And I'm really enjoying it. So, the vibes are here. It's really gloomy and rainy in Texas. Which I love. I miss Texas weather so freaking much. So let's just get reading and I don't really have a lot of updates so far. I feel like the romance is very angsty and there hasn't been actual romance yet. Like they haven't even kissed and like 50%, 54% into the book. Which I love a slow burn. But I wouldn't call this a slow burn because a lot has happened. It's kind of confusing. But I love Ify, Ifa and Joy.
Joey. I don't know how to say her name still. I'm still trying to figure it out. But I keep reading and I'll update you guys when I'm a little bit more advanced. And I'm also just reading. I'm also watching Sarah Crowley's new video. Yeah, the vibes are here. I obviously just shower because I was feeling terrible. It's the time of the month and the first two days of that, I really feel super sick and I can't do anything. So, I'm just going to do a lot of book tip stuff today. I'll be reading Defend the Dawn. The next book comes out sometime this month and I just really need to get it. I need to get back into the series because I was obsessed with the first book. But like a lot was going down when I was reading that first book so... I do feel like I got a lot really distracted, but it's like one of my new favorite series. So let's just get reading. I'm sitting here. It's really snowing outside, which, if you know, for Texas is like really not the case ever. So. It's like the perfect reading weather. So I got the physical copy of Saving Sex and I'm on page 421. If you can see, I'm almost done with it. I have to say, also, yeah, I dyed my hair. It's like really blonde. It's honestly blonde in other lighting, so I'm not sure why it looks so dark in this one. But I swear it's like super blonde. This one, I don't know, I feel like I kind of lose interest every single time the characters get together. Like the slow burn was good and then they got together and now I'm like not as interested. But yeah, I just wanted to do a little reading update and yeah, stay warm you guys. Okay, so I did it. I finished Saving Six by Chloe Walsh. And I ended up giving this book 5 out of 5 stars. If I'm totally honest with you, if you like the Minority Park series, this is a series that resembles that the most. And I'm not even talking about, it's just the trauma and the toxicity of everything that goes on in this series. It's so similar to that. And this is like the only series that has given me kind of cl close taste of that. I this year I was going to be a less harsh book critic, meaning there's probably going to be more 5 star reads and... But there might also be some, like, I'm going to DNF a lot of books and I'm also going to just straight up just give one star to some books. So, yeah, that makes no sense. Where was I going with that? Anyway, so this was a 5 out of 5 star for me. I didn't really see why not to give it that. It did take me forever. I mean, this book is almost 600 pages. This book is 600 pages. It's over 600 pages. That is a lot. Like, you have to be committed to the story in order to enjoy it because if not you're just gonna like you're gonna just completely lose your attention span and i'm probably gonna be picking up this one but this won't be for this video i just have to say i think the next video that i'm gonna film is gonna be me finishing every series that i'm in the middle of because there's there's quite a few i don't know we're just gonna read okay for fun but this one if you don't know the series is there's romance kind of I mean, he plays, he's a hurler, which is kind of like lacrosse. It's the only sport that kind of resembles that. And then the first two books were like rugby romances. I'm going to be really honest with you. It's not that focused on the sport at all. So don't like go into expecting like a fully blown sport romance. Because I know they're kind of marketed as that, but that's just like not accurate at all. And so this one... Look up trigger warnings, there's just like a lot of violence in this book and a lot of it deals with addiction a lot. I usually don't say to look up trigger warnings, although you usually should if you're a person who comes trigger easily. Look up the trigger warnings. But this one, it's like a lot even for me and I'm not that susceptible to, I don't know, triggers in books, but it was like a lot. Like he made me like cringe and not like because it was bad but it was because it was just too much so yeah this was the last what else have we been reading this book i don't even know <laughs> but i think we actually read keeping 13 in this video 
and I can't even find it right now. But we're just gonna wrap it up. We're gonna wrap up this video. Before I go though, I by direct it, let me pick some glasses. So I wanted to do a little haul. Come in cases like this. This is the only case that I have over here. The cases right now are like yellow though. So this one is super cute. They're gonna both be linked down below. So I do apologize though because we're gonna have back-to-back -back Ibedric hauls because on Friday I have another package coming from the new collection and yeah, I'm put it, probably putting that in the video. It's gonna be going after this one. So I'm still debating if I wanna do finish a reading vlog for Throne of Glass or if I just wanna include that in a different video because this don't think I have it in me to read the entire Throne of Glass series in one video. But this one is like a tortoise. And I usually don't like it when it has those things to hold your nose. But I kind of like it. Like they were definitely handy in like my workout class. Because like I move my head a lot. So these are the first pair. Now this second pair I ordered because I saw this other creator wear them and i was like that might look cute with like a slick back button it's like it's giving y2k and they're definitely out of my comfort zone these are just like a plain black frame but they're a little bit more stylish than the glasses that you were like forced to wear when it was like 2012. now i still don't know if they look good on me like <sighs> like i don't know how i feel about them yet it's not giving I think it's because like my eyebrows are already so aggressive and I don't know if I'm going to return these or not but yeah I feel like with, if my hair was like slicked back maybe there's like something off about the shape of it that I'm like I don't know I mean they're kind of cute but I don't know these are definitely a hit these are a little bit of a miss I'm still deciding on that I'm just gonna wrap up this video and edit and upload this for you guys. This mood reading vlog was all over the place. But that's what mood reading is. So yeah, just deal with it. If you didn't like it, I tried my best. I'm gonna try to be a little bit more organized with my reading vlogs in the upcoming videos, but I, ha I make no promises, honestly. You know the drill, make sure to subscribe button. Keep in mind that this is what I'm currently doing full time, but I just don't know how long that's going to last. So if you want me to just keep cranking up these videos, just make sure to subscribe button. That allows me to continue doing this for you guys and also for me. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Subscribe, comment, whatever you want. As usual, be nice in the comments. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.